Hello students, today we will learn about ethics and safety measures in computing. Let us first start with internet. Internet is one of the largest information databases. It has become a vital part of our life. Internet stands for International Network of Computers. It is a global system of interconnected computer networks that enables the users to share information and various resources with each other. It uses common communication standards and interfaces to provide the physical backbone for many interesting applications. Tasks that were usually performed through personal interaction such as banking, shopping or communication can now be done online. We can share data and information across the globe instantly. Indeed, Internet has transformed the world into a smaller and a convenient place to live in. Today the buzzword is only Internet. The network of Internet is getting wider with each passing day. To analyze how fast the use of Internet is growing, pick any newspaper or magazine and carefully observe the advertisement given therein. You would realize that almost every enterprise has its website listed in addition to its address and telephone numbers. Every organization is making its presence felt on the internet. Internet is a boon to the world. Almost every aspect of our life is touched by the internet. Interestingly, internet provides 24 into 7 services. Students, let me tell you about advantages of internet. Education. Internet has changed the traditional learning system. It is widely used for educational purposes by scholars, students and teachers to learn anytime and anywhere. It has shown dramatic impact on higher education as more universities offer online courses. IGNU is one of the universities which offer this facility. Internet is a vast storehouse of information and is also used to publish papers and articles. Convenient mode of communication Internet is a convenient and economical mode of communication. Users can communicate with each other using various services available on Internet like email, chat, video conferencing, instant messenger etc. Business. The internet has brought new opportunities for businesses to offer goods and services online, which has proved to be beneficial. Meetings can be conducted inexpensively through the video conferencing facility without physically visiting the place. Financial transactions can be made online from the office or home. E-commerce. It is the concept used for any type of commercial or business deal that involves the transfer of information across the globe by using the internet. Nowadays, many companies have their own portals or websites which are used for e-commerce. E-commerce industry has become one of the biggest industries in the world. We can now purchase every possible goods and get services from different shopping portals around the world. It also includes booking tickets for bus, flight, train and hotel rooms. Media and Entertainment Internet adds value to media and entertainment. Downloading games, videos, songs, visiting chat rooms or surfing the web are some of the uses which attract people towards the internet. Internet also provides the facility to read different newspapers, magazines and books online. Social networking. It is the latest way to communicate. It offers a platform where an individual can connect with friends and strangers on the basis of shared interest or views. Some examples of social networking sites are Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, MySpace, etc. Students, let's know more. Social engineering refers to psychological manipulation of people into performing actions or divulging confidential information. Forum In Internet, Forum is an online discussion site where like-minded people can hold conversations in the form of posted messages. Health and Fitness Internet is now playing a healthy role in providing extensive information on health and fitness. Using various medical sites, one can read more about various diseases, their cures and precautionary measures. Students, now let me tell you about disadvantages of internet. 
internet has several advantages for every individual and it is extremely popular in this modern age. However, it is a tool which must be handled with caution as its misuse can be hazardous. Some of the threats of internet are as follows. Virus Threat Computers that are connected to the internet are more prone to virus attacks which can result in the crashing of system, data loss and hardware malfunctioning. Spamming It refers to unwanted emails that are of commercial nature sent indiscriminately to multiple mailing lists, individuals or news groups. It unnecessarily uses the system's resources and can also be used to spread computer virus or other malicious software. Theft of personal information Internet is the main source of piracy, plagiarism, and other evil issues relating to privacy of information of an individual or an organization. One should be careful enough while handling one's personal information such as name, address, credit card number, etc. as they can be accessed by hackers or crackers for personal monetary games. Such elements can also disturb system applications by spreading virus and changing program logics and outputs. Pornography This is a major issue posted by the internet. There are many pornographic sites on the internet that can be found easily and be hazardous to mental health of children. Cyber terrorism. It causes a serious threat to the world nowadays. Modern terrorist organizations perform target attacks on power plants, banks, commercial areas or buildings of national importance. This can be conducted remotely with the help of a mobile phone and the internet, which are less expensive than traditional terrorist methods. Time Wastage Although internet provides various services to its users, yet people generally waste time and energy in surfing the net. This can result in loss of a personal interaction with people and it can also affect both of our socializing skills and health. Students know the fact that cyber trafficking refers to the serious crime of selling drugs, weapons and even human beings over the internet. Traffickers contact their customers through encrypted emails and fix their deals at places like internet cafes in order to sell their illegal substances. Some criminals even build websites for online selling and trade of these harmful commodities. Okay students, let us talk about computing ethics. Ethics is a set of moral principles that governs the behavior of a group or an individual. Similarly, computing ethics is a set of procedures, moral principles and ethical practices that regulates the use of computer. It focuses on ethical implementation and use of computing resources and includes new issues that are raised by new technologies. It basically aims at encouraging IT users to be responsible in order to utilize the technology tools judicially, respect views of others and acknowledge the rights and properties of people on the internet. Some of the common ethical guidelines which should be followed while using a computer are given below. Do not use computer technology to cause disruption or interference in other users' work. Do not spy on another person's computer data. Do not use computer technology to steal information. Do not contribute to the spread of wrong information using computer technology. Avoid buying pirated software. Pay for software unless it is free. Do not use someone else's computer resources without an authorization. It is wrong to claim ownership on a work which is the output of someone else's intellect. Before developing a software, think about the social impact it can have. Be respectful and courteous with the fellow members while communicating on the internet.